Earthlings of the internet, my name is Windex Game. Windex! Gamer and... Hang on one second. What? I need to tell you something about your future! Yeah? On the night you go back... I can't hear you! Headset! Who the fuck that guy was, but coming in my place. Anyway, yes, we're going to play Back to the Future. Celebrate the 30 years of Back to the Future. Even though I'm a bit late, this is 30 years anyway. Happy Halloween, also, I'm recording it on Halloween. But yeah, this is the game. I saw it on the Steam store, so let's go. The, this is also episode 1, by the way. Before we begin, would you like to notif see notifications? Yeah, show me goals. Okay. Do... Do, 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 do. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Hamid Brown. I'm Good staying evening. in a parking My lot at Twin Pines Mall. Brown. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number I one. I feel like these, uh, from what I read up anyway, the stories are morning. different. It's not the first you movie, down. second Did movie, or the third movie. Lord? Apparently it's That's all the new it. ones. Well, whoa, whoa, different storylines, okay. but this Please seems note very... Please Einstein's clock is in now. precise synchronization yeah. with my control watch. Got it? Right. Got it, got Doc. It. Have a good trip, Einstein. <laughs> watch your head. Bye, Einstein. Hope you have a good trip. One minute in the future. Car. Watch this. This is heavy. Yeah, okay. Got it. <laughs> so excited. Love Back to the Future. Mm. Not me, the car, the car. Do, 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 do. Barrel love, it's a mysterious thing. Make a one man me. I'll stop. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, 88 you're miles per hour. Some serious shit. <laughs> Pretty sure that wasn't in. Was that in the first movie? He said shit. Watch this, watch this! Okay, that's where I up. You disintegrated Einstein! Where's the car? What the heck? I'll say Einstein. The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Hot Jesus Christ! Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ. Doc, you disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is where When they are, are they, Marty? See, when? To become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact. What are you talking about, Doc? You build a time machine out of the DeLorean. You put your dog in a time machine. Uh, you put your dog in a time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You you put your dog. Apparently, Michael J. Fox is actually in the fifth episode. I mean, Chris. Christopher Where Lloyd, is, is it? And Jennifer, I don't know who she is. Uh, what her name is. But, um, apparently, Michael J. Fox is in the fifth episode. So, we will get there. Ah, oh, shit, Einstein's gone! Uh, gone! Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us. 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. Oh, well, time to go home. Einstein's dead. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Okay. Do I move? Or is it point and click? It's point and click, isn't it? Is it? Oh, no. Let's move. Move. Okay. There's the toolbox. Notebook. This notebook. is heavy. Got it. <laughs> He's always cracking me up. <laughs> flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? What the heck's Why a flux capacitor? The thing that makes time travel. Shit. Um. Possible. 
In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Oh no! Let's see. It's mass equals this is an time z the way it happens. Square root of z that sounds familiar. We gotta get out of here. That sounds familiar. Consequences could be catastrophic. Whoa! What are we gonna Deja do? Vu. It is deja vu because you were here already. You were here, Marley. This is where the duck. Oh, is it carrying on? Ah, oh, that's great, Scott. Ah, oh, they've changed the whole of reality. What is it? So when you go back in time. Steak. Ah oh, shit! This can be chills. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back, Doc. So the so this is what happened. Doc. Oh no, it's a dream. Getting me all excited. Marty. I thought they changed okay? the present, but the past. Yeah, is their I, present. So was, they're in 1985 and we're 30 years on 2015. Doc was so there. this happened 30 years ago, but it's their present. You well, follow in? You follow in? Stay tuned. Now. Back in good old 1986. 1986? But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. <laughs> Weird science. Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Da, 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 da. Episode one. It's about time. Written and designed by Andy Hartzell, Mike Stemel, Stemel. There's the clock tower. Good old clock tower, but in model form. It's good that they made different stories instead of like carrying on. I always thought the first Back to the Future was the best one. The third one wasn't that great. They were like, ah, oh, there's the amp. I was going to put that in the intro, but then I did that thing because it was a lot easier. Um, I don't have all of these effects. I have a guitar and a pick, but I don't have the effects. Turns at nine. Nine minutes. State sell. Is he selling up? Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. Oh shit! It did happen. How much rare stuff there is back here? That's no. The city has no right to. Now, we gotta find Einstein. No, Einstein. Doc Browning. Brown. The city really seems yeah. hell bent Back on using this land for that new well parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hey, Butthead. Hi, Biff. Wake up, McFly. See if the old crackpot had any buried treasure. Nah, I guess I'm just. Remembering about the good old days. Select an item around the lab. Make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous behind. Okay, clock, television, George. Bitch, it's hard to control. Biff. Hey, let me Such try, a bitch. Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. You, you got, got it, Mr. McFly. McFly. I want to listen to music. No, oh, enough of that junk. Biff, still now a Biff. dick. Sorry, Marty. Even though he's changed, <laughs> even though he's changed, he's still a dick. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's oh, notebook shit. in there? Hey, that looks oh, my like days, Biff! Fuck off! I handed to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can can I see that a minute? 
This would look great in oh. my fish tank. Give the old carp Sharp something new to nibble on. Can I have the courthouse? Uh, mind if I look at the courthouse? I saw it first. If I say I saw it first, he should listen to George. Uh, I feel like if I ask, he'll have his dickish side still. Mind if I take a look? That's like half and half. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was a joke. Oh, ha. But really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have Ugh, here. Days. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux, flux capacitor? Business. Doc asked me to. Browns worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Huh. We need to get it back. Beat up Biff. Beat him up. Smack him in the face. Hey, Biff. That notebook is dangerous. That notebook is worthless. Reminds me of Doc. He wouldn't care. You wouldn't understand the notebook. I'll say it's worthless because he won't care about my feelings. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. Yeah, then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'll say this. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. There's a cat running on the roof. Doc's dead. On my days. To get over it and move on. Uh, I'll buy a notebook call for you. I'll pay you for it. How much? Um, Not enough. <sighs> I don't want to say it's dangerous because he's a wouldn't dick. Mean to so. you. I wouldn't even understand what's in it. Yeah, you are, and you're an also idiot. I'll oh, pay you for it. That. No much? move. <sighs> Not enough. The notebook is dangerous. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. <sighs> Fuck's sake, Biff. Hi, guys. I had to switch it off, so we're back here again. Um, for some reason, it messed up. Fuck, Biff. Go back to the town square model, and I'm going to select something different this time. So, maybe I, I can get away with it. this model of Downtown Hill Valley, <coughs> way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. Huh, it's a watch. What the? Is that Doc's notebook that in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. Oh my God. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Uh, I saw it first. Maybe George. Come on, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. Oh, Biff, you're such a dick. Give it here, Biff. Well, Either well, way, it would happen. Look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to. Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Huh. If you need help getting Doc's notebook back from Biff, click hint button. Uh, I am going to get George. He listens to George. He's dead. Doc's alive. About Biff. I had a dream. Who's running this cell? About Biff. Problem? Biff? He's got this thing, see? And I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you... No, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. Yeah, he found it first, but... Oh. Well, then I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. You're such or something. a dick. <laughs> I need that back. <laughs> uh, we'll talk to you after. We'll just get the notebook back first. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. What if we could explode him with the amplifier? It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time. And now some jerk's going to pick it up for pennies. Speak the truth, Marty. Speak the truth. Okay, that's gotta be something. Um, what about the mind reading helmet? Feels like that was a lifetime ago. It was. Actually, I guess it was. Ha 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 ha! You aren't even born, Marty. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Okay, what else is around here? We already spoke to Beth about the shit. Uh, what was that? Electrical equipment. Yeah, boo. Looks like a hand crank lightning rod. Or maybe a lightning powered pencil Beth. sharp. Stop that, Biff! Oh, game pause. Didn't mean to pause the game. <laughs> uh, okay, with the cats. Nope. Uh, maybe I have to carry on with George. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Because he vanished into thin air, Marty. Get with it. <laughs> Sounded like such a rage, but I'm not. I'm so not. that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example. Marty's got an idea. Dog feeder. Hey, let me now, Biff. Leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. Why can't you get my book back? Why did Marty have to say I saw it first? That makes no sense. That's really sad. Einstein and Doc are gone. Door? No, uh, we'll speak to George. He's dead. Uh, who's running this cell? Who's running this cell anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Yeah, man. Isn't that right, Biff? Yeah, man. You got it, Mr. McFly. You know that makes sense. I can fight my own fights, Dad. No, I need you to I'm be a you, puppy a joke. Doc's and only been get that book months, back. I because you're making me told back. Us he's not dead. Sad. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. Nuh uh. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect yes. it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? I need to protect his legacy. can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own Can't legacy. because he's on holiday, but he's floating through time. People don't understand. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That, that's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. I needed that book. I had a dream. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. I can fight my own fights, Dad. Now, Biff, Dad. What are you, McFly? Chicken? He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle. That was all because of me, I... though. That was me. I guess you can. You were. You were. Okay, son. I'll stay out Nerdy of the way. Dirty boy. You know where to find me. And I got you to punch him. Okay, we've asked all those questions. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Okay, maybe a hint. Let's try a hint. Okay. It would take a pretty powerful force to knock that notebook out of bits. Garage. So, fire ex... I oh, know, that's fine. Ring hammer. Um, the amp. That's the force. The force. <laughs> Amplifier controls. Let's make some noise. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Bow. 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 
Okay. Amplifier. No, we need to get the guitar. Me to repair this thing after I blew it out last time. Guitar's in the box. Okay, Marty. For Marty's guitar. There we go. Hey, Dad. Why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Amplifier controls. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. It took me forever to repair this thing, Apneys. Um, ah, there we go. Wait, inventory. Marty's guitar. There we go. Time to make some rock and roll! Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead! Chuck Butthead, oh, you're so funny, Biff. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Biff, you can't play. Ah, oh, he's gonna blow it. Then the pick. Shine off the pick. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Bow. There we go. Ah, oh, I didn't. Rock on, Biff. Rock on, Biff. Rock. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, shit. Do, 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 do. October 25th, 1985. Oh, Doc. To do. Where are you? Ah oh, shit, is he back? Stock, isn't it? Or is it Einstein? It's Einstein. They got the timings wrong. Well. You'll see who it is in the next episode. I really need a wee. But thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for more. I hope you like, share and subscribe if you want. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Mwah.